previously on Bumbling Tourist. They say don't judge a book by its cover. Judge it by its stupa. It's a stupid joke. It, it's a stupid joke, but it's a pretty amazing stupa. Yeah. Ningalabar. We're in Myanmar. That's adventure. It is unclear to me whether or not this is part of the other thing or not. True. I guess we'll look it up. This makes it clear that there's 1,774 marble slabs erected by one Ukan Teeth? Teeth? Ukan Teeth? The Hermit? Ukan Teeth the Hermit. It he erected a many a slab. In 1913. 1913. King Mindon Min was responsible for the modernization of Burma during his reign as king of Myanmar. But in 1866, his son attempted a coup to overthrow his father in order to stop the reformation of the country. This rebellion became known as the Prince Rebellion. Sanda Muni Pagoda was built by King Mindan Min in 1874 to commemorate his little brother, who was assassinated along with three princes during the 1866 Prince Rebellion. The pagoda contains the graves of the slain princes. Crown Prince Kanang, who incited the rebellion, lived in exile in Saigon, Vietnam, where he led anti-British movements. I suspect this road might be a bit less traveled by your average tourist. Not your average dog. Nope. Or by your average bumbling tourist. That's how we roll. What is the average bumbling tourist? These centers. Right here. Yep. We've made it to Mandalay Palace. Oh yeah. Yeah. Maybe find some food before we venture in there. And beer. Apparently it's a huge, huge, huge complex, so okay. we need to fuel up first. Yeah. I was filming you, Rab. You got so many smiles. <laughs> Lady going by on a scooter. She looks. She's looked like confused at me. 
And then when she's like, realized I was looking over, she gave me the biggest grin and she's like, yeah. That's awesome. And then the two girls walking past, the same thing too. Yeah. Uh, that last take, being positive that like, I'm not in a spot that would upset anybody. I was like, oh, I can really let loose finally. Yeah, and people only seem to enjoy it. Yeah. There's certain places where I'm like, oh, is this like an important religious thing where I shouldn't do yeah. this? So you gotta kind of yeah. throw the line a little bit. Are you supposed to do it like up here? No, I don't think so. Yes. Yeah. It's just harder when you're a thousand pounds. Yeah, you are lifting up your own weight. Whoa. But I'm well over 200 pounds. <laughs> You can't lift 200 pounds? It's a, it's a harsh angle or any other excuse that makes me seem less weak. <laughs> 2020, new you. Do this like five more times and I'll buy you a beer. One, two, three, uh, four, three count? five. I don't know if it did. Yeah, okay. You deserve a beer. Beautiful, handsome, glowing man. Lovely white old lady. You can't see that in the camera. Plus, it doesn't exist. Just hold up a mirror. And what kind did you get? Orange. Orange, you glad? <laughs> I got strawberry. Being vegetarian, I haven't had wontons in a very long time. It's really good. And the spicy sauce is really good too. It's like super sour but spicy. Yum yum yum. We wanted to mention that this series was filmed in February 2020. A lot has changed in the world and in Myanmar since. Myanmar was the friendliest and most welcoming country we have ever visited. As we release these videos in this series, it's 2021, and the citizens of Myanmar are risking their lives to protest a military overtake of the government. We certainly are no authority on what's going on, but we definitely encourage you to keep up to date with what's happening.